everyone. Welcome to YG Cards, and today we have one box of 2022-2023 Upper Deck SP Authentic Hockey. Well, I always get excited when I've got a box of SP Authentic in my hands, regardless of the year, but this is the 2022-2023 year, so we are looking for the guys on the cover here, Matty Beniers, Shane Wright, as well as others like Slavkovsky, Boldy, Rossi, Johnson, Gooley, to name a few. So I think it's a pretty decent rookie crop year. 2022-23 pricing products have does definitely come way down, but yeah, folks, we're getting nine cards per pack and 10 packs per box. We're getting two autographs per box at least. And one of those will be a future watch auto or a future watch retro auto. Unfortunately, yeah, I wish we could only get the future watch autos in well, at least one of those per box. But unfortunately, we do have the chance of getting a retro future watch auto. So yeah, folks, I won't go into too much detail here. I think you, you know the drill as it comes to SPA. Definitely a very autograph heavy product. We do have the chance of getting the future watch premium patch cards as well. So the rookie patch autos essentially. And then there's some veteran content here as well. Retro sign of the times cards or just sign of the times card. That's a very flagship. I would say, or typical hit in SPA. Then you have things like the UD Authentics autographs as well, Marks of Distinction, Immortal Ink, Choreography, Telemetry Autograph, uh, to name a few other types of autograph content in here. Uh, we do have inserts like the pageantry cards, uh, Spectrum FX and the Bounty cards, and a whole other bunch of inserts in here. And we got the limited red cards at the base and different color pillows as well. Also to mention the Future Watch autos, anything numbered below 50 will be inscribed. So yeah, folks, why don't we just rip right into this and see what we can Pull. Certainly excited for 2324 SPA for Bedard's year. Yeah, that is going to be a steep price point. I think prices rocket up and have come down a little bit. So hoping to find box that's I don't want to say affordable because it's not going to be for a lot of folks, unfortunately, but you know, maybe something around the $500 Canadian price point, but that's, yeah, we'll see. So here's empty box, folks. Here are our 10 packs. Yeah, folks, let's see what we can hit. Let's hope maybe we can get like a Future Watch Auto patch card. That'd be pretty sweet. Well, you know, I'll tell you what, if we get a patch card, I will save it until the end. Okay, here we go. So nice little throwback here. I haven't opened this up in a while. So skip right to the red here. Future Watch Red, all elixir. That's non-numbered. We have a True Leaders insert around the rally. And oh, okay. Well, there's a Future Watch autograph right here. Braden Tracy, 710-999. Okay, well, I guess there's autograph number one of the box. And it's Braden Tracy for the Anaheim Ducks. So not, a, not a top rookie candidate there, but all right. Okay, well, we did get a base Future Watch autograph. So I have, have to be happy about that. We all are having a great day today. If you've, any of you have opened up any of the more, more credentials stuff, that has come out recently. I have not. Uh, Philip Hallander, Future Watch, Red. Okay, Gibber Lanska, True Leaders. And here we have a pageantry insert of Air Neck Lad. Yeah, not a huge fan of credentials, to be quite honest. Um, I actually a little bit excited for the Upper Deck Ice of 23-24. Uh, I don't know if that's coming out next week, but it should be coming out soon. So we have a top rookie of Andre Kuzmenko. And look at this. Here we go. Keandre Miller, Son of the Times. Okay, nice. Kind of like a dinky little auto inside of a huge space. <laughs> but Keandre Miller, Son of the Times. Honor card auto for the New York Rangers. Okay, right on. All right, so we've got two autos already. That might be it for the box, but okay. I mean, maybe we'll get a third one here in the box. Pageantry of UC Sorrows. And sometimes these boxes can be quite loaded. I Probably because, you know, for whatever reason, one box has some in missing hits. Another box will make up for it for having those missing it's in it. So let's see what we can get. Uh, Alex Nadelkovich, base red. Or Brad Clark, SP Top Rookies. And we have a pageantry red of Lucas Reichel for Chicago Blackhawks. And the next pack here. I'm really hoping Ice can turn it around. Uh, previous years haven't been that great. Uh, Special of Red, Collaborations, Pinarin, and Fox. And pageantry Mark Messier. I'm hoping to see a little bit more of Ice. I know we used to get at least one guaranteed autograph per box, and that has changed in recent years. And uh, yeah, it's definitely tanked the value of the product. So Marcus Bjork, Fijor Red, and Nick Perbix says P Top Rookies, and a pageantry Kent Johnson. Oh yeah, we'll see folks. Maybe with Bedard's year, product lines will be a little bit better. Credentials was, yeah, a big swing and a miss for me. Uh, but yeah, maybe maybe we'll open another box of that to see if luck can change. So Thomas Hurdle, collaborations, uh, Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl, and a pageantry of Yegor Sharangovich. We have Upper Deck the Cup coming out for 2023. I'll probably open a tin of that on the channel. Prices have started a little high on that. See if we get any, I guess, correction in price because it's a 22-23 year. William Bitten, Future Watch Red, Dylan Larkin, collaborations, and we have a Future Watch Blue of Trey Fuchs Wolanski to 399. And surprisingly, <laughs> we're still waiting for a 22-23 premiere. This is a little bit a little bit odd that it's coming out after the cup. Usually it's the other way around, but yeah, I guess we'll wait and find out to see what that's all about. Okay, we have SP Top Rookies Nikita Kodiak, uh, Spectrum Effect card of Tage Thompson. I believe that'll be a, of the bounty on the back. Yeah, then pageantry Braden Tracy. All right, folks, last pack here of our box of SPA 2023. 
Okay, here we go. Last pack here. We have a red Blake Coleman base. SP Top Rookie Soul Guard. And oh, cool. Okay, I guess we got another a third auto in here. We got a future watch retro auto of Simon Holmes for the Islanders. Nice. Okay, I really wasn't expecting another auto in here. And okay, you can see the numbering there. It is 699. Okay. So we got a third auto in here. Uh future watch retro auto of Simon Holmes for the New York Islanders. Nice, right on. Nice hit. Okay, happy with that. All right, folks. So there you have it. I'd say that's honestly pretty standard box SP. Nothing too special here. Got our suave of diff different inserts across the board. Got a limited red of, of, of a couple base cards here. A feature watch limited red of Bitten, Bjork, Hallander, and Lixel. Now let's say the main hits of the box. You have the pattern issue red, short print of Lucas Reichel. And we've got Trafix Wolanski, feature watch blue to 399. We have three autos in here. We have Simon Holmes, Serm to 699, and feature watch retro. There's a really cool Keandre Miller sign of the Times card. And our future watch auto is Braden Tracy to 999 for the Anaheim Ducks. All right, everyone, there you have it. That is one box of 2023 Upper Deck SPA. I hope you all enjoyed that break and stay tuned for more breaks to come on the channel. Thanks for watching.